Welcome back to 242 Math. I'm your host, Raphael Thompson. Today we're looking at grade 3 charts and graphs that you may encounter on your examinations. Here we go, grade 3. Question 1. Use the chart on favorite pets for grade 3T students at the Yellow Elder Primary School to answer the following questions. So you see a tally chart there. Favorite pets of grade 3T students. Pets, the tally marks, number. Here is what you have to do. Write the missing numbers on the tally chart to complete it. Go ahead, get that done. We move on to question two. Shade in the bars on the graph to show the information from the completed tally chart in question one. So you should have put in the numbers on the tally chart. Now put those, put the bars in to represent the numbers. Shade it in. The first one was done for you. Question three, use the graph on the number of students in grade one at Columbus Primary School to answer the following questions. And the key is what you need to take note of. It says, how many students are in grade one K? Don't forget to use the key. Got it? Question four. Using the same graph that shows the number of students in grade one at the Columbus Primary School, the question is, which grade has 20 students? Don't forget to use the key. Question five, using the same graph, the number of students in grade one at Columbus Primary School, what is the difference in the number of students in grade one K and grade one T? Question six, using the same graph showing the students in grade one at the Columbus Primary School, what is the total number of students in grade one at the Columbus Primary School? Here we go with the answers and question one. The numbers would be 12, 4, and 7 using the tally marks. Question two, you are to shade in using those numbers. So you should get 4 and 7 for cat and fish and you shade them in. Question three, 30 students for grade one K. It's three stick persons, each one is 10. Question four, the grade has 20 students, grade 1T, two stick persons. Question 5, 30 minus 20, 10 students. For that, you have to work that one out and subtract. Question 6, you add them all up, you get 75 students. Thank you all for watching grade 3. Hope you got 100%. I will see you in the next one. That's a wrap.